everybody. Welcome to our channel, Living in Richmond, Virginia, where we show you exactly what it's like to live, work, eat, and play right here in RVA. Right now, I'm at Upper Shirley Vineyards, and I'm really excited for today because in this video, I'm going to show you all the best wineries you have to check out in and around the Richmond area. A few weeks ago, Taylor got to do the best breweries video, so now it's my turn. Be sure to stay to the end to hear about our absolute favorite winery. If this is your first time to our channel, welcome. I'm Sarah Jefferson and Taylor and I own and operate Jefferson Grove Real Estate. So if you're thinking about moving to Richmond, be sure to hit us up. If you haven't done so already, you have to subscribe to our channel. Every week we'll be doing new videos all about living in Richmond, Virginia, including top neighborhoods, family friendly activities to do around Richmond, area tours, and so much more. But enough of that, let's check out some of the best wineries around Richmond. In today's video, we're gonna start off east of downtown Richmond and work our way west. So we're kicking off our winery tour here today at Upper Shirley Vineyards. Upper Shirley is located off of Route 5 and is about 35 minutes away from downtown Richmond. What's really cool about this location is that the Virginia Capitol bike trail goes right past this vineyard, making it a great pit stop between Richmond and Williamsburg. This vineyard also serves as a restaurant at a wedding venue, which is not surprising given how beautiful of a setting it is. The 14,000 square foot facility overlooks the James River in the rear and a 1,300 acre bird sanctuary island in the middle of the river. At the front of the property, you can see some of the horses located on site and of course, some of the actual grapes used for these wines. But what we love about this place so much is first, the wine is excellent. I am currently sipping on one of my favorite wines, the Sauvignon Blanc, but you really can't go wrong with any of them. You know how typically you enjoy a tasting and there are a few wines that are hit and miss, well, not here. We recently bought one of their more expensive bottles, the Tanat, and took it home for a special occasion. It was so good that Upper Shirley literally ruined one of our go-to cheaper wines for us because we made the mistake of drinking a glass of the expensive wine, followed by a glass of our favorite cheaper wine right after. Well, that was game over for the cheaper wine. The other reason we love this place so much is because of this beautiful setting. Not only is it beautiful, but the nice wide open space gives kids room to play around. So it's practically just like Hardywood West Creek, but with wine instead of beer. All right, I'm gonna finish this glass of wine before we head to the next spot. And don't worry, Taylor is my DD today, so we are being safe nope, as I'm we tour. <laughs> so we're being safe as we tour all the wineries. See you next time at the next spot. So the next spot we're at is the New Kent Winery, which is a little northeast of Upper Shirley Vineyards. And you would think that means it's further away from Richmond, but it's actually more convenient because of the proximity to the Highway 64. New Kent Winery is located right off of Old Church Road in between the towns of Quinton and New Kent. It's only a 25 minute drive from downtown Richmond to the New Kent Winery. This winery is located within the development called Vinatera, which is a mix of residential real estate, a golf club, and this winery. Just like Upper Shirley, the setting is beautiful here. And New Kent Winery is another popular spot for weddings. Now me personally, I like the red wines here better than the white, but I really encourage you to come visit and taste for yourself. What's really cool about New Kent is that they also have an in-house brewery. Sorry, Taylor, you don't get to taste any today Man. though. And you had your turn with your brewery video. So in the weird event that you or your partner doesn't like wine, again, New Kent has you covered with the in-house Tallysville Brewing Company on site. New Kent has 12 wines in all, and they offer a club membership, which gets you a special pricing on bottles and exclusive member only events. Additionally, they serve small plates and their food is really good. So if you're planning a winery tour, be sure to carve up here to help you go the distance. <laughs> All right, that sums up New Kent. On to the next one, which will take us even closer to downtown Richmond. See you there. All right, I'm two glasses in, so we'll see how this goes. So now we're at James River Cellars Winery, which was opened in 2001. This winery is located just off Route 1, north of Richmond between RVA and Ashland. This is the closest spot to Richmond that we will tour today. It's only 18 minutes from downtown Richmond and it really makes the list because if you're looking for a winery to visit that isn't too far away, well then this is one of the best options. James River has 22 wines altogether and offers a tasting of about eight of them. I absolutely recommend doing a flight here because while I really like some of their wines, there are some, which is pretty typical with a tasting, that aren't my favorite. So since the flavor profiles really vary here, do a flight before you commit to buying a glass or a bottle. There are two other spots I wanna mention before we head to our last and favorite winery of the day. I wanna tell you about Brambley Park and Cooper's Hawk. I'll start with Brambley Park, which is a commercial winery located in Scott's Edition. It sits on two acres and has four components to the property. It has the park, 
the winery, the restaurant, and an event space. Obviously, Brambley Park would be the most convenient winery to downtown Richmond, and while the park setting is pretty, it isn't a true traditional winery, so that's why we're only giving it a mention. If you're planning a visit to Scott's Edition and you want a break from all the breweries, definitely check out Brambley Park. Now, Cooper's Hawk Winery is more so a restaurant, but they are a wine-themed destination. They have a tasting room, restaurant, and also offer a wine club membership, which we're members of. It's a great date night spot located right by the Short Pump Town Center Mall. But be sure to make a reservation for both and tasting and dinner as it does tend to fill up. All right, so we're at our last winery of the day and it was quite the drive to get here. We're now at Pollock Vineyards, which is actually east of Charlottesville. So it's not what I would call convenient to Richmond. It's a one hour, 20 minute drive from downtown RVA to get here, but less of a drive if you live near Short Pump, Virginia. Truly Pollock would probably be better suited for a video about the best Charlottesville wineries, but hey, we live in Richmond, we come here a bunch, so we wanted to include it. I'm currently sipping on the Pinot Gris, which is delicious. That being said, if you're planning a winery tour, you should decide which side of Richmond you wanna hit. The east side of Richmond would work for all the wineries we mentioned before, but if you choose to head towards the Charlottesville area, there are lots of other really good wineries to visit too. We first learned about Pollock from the Richmond Wine Expo years ago, so we decided to visit them when we did a Charlottesville winery tour and we loved it. The setting is beautiful and the wine is even better. I think their Pinot Gris is my absolute favorite ever and Taylor is obsessed with their rosé. The small plates here are pretty good and the proximity to lots of other great wineries like Pippin Hill and of course Pollock's amazing wines make this place a must visit spot. Well, I had a blast today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you find it helpful, especially if you've never been to any of these places before. Leave us a comment if you end up going to any of these wineries and tell us what you think. Be sure to subscribe to our channel because we have lots more videos coming up all about living in Richmond. Thanks for being here with me. Thanks Taylor for being my DD and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.